got my visa with um, Italy, Italian Embassy, for only three days. How do we start our Schengen application? So, saan nga ba tayo magsisimula? Next step is to know what are the required documents. Um, cover letter. Cover letter is very important. So, ano nga ba ang mga dapat mong ilagay sa cover letter mo? So, Italian Embassy is the key. <laughs> so, ano nga ba ang dapat na amount na nasa bank mo pag mag apply ka ng Schengen visa? Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, C, and here's another vlog. Thank you so much everyone for watching my previous videos and for giving me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So, in this video, we're going to talk about how I got my Schengen visa for just three days. Yes, and this is going to be a Tagalog version. So, um, Tagalog po ako ngayon as per your request. Um, yes, so bear with me. So, yun nga, um, if, if you have been watching my previous video, maka, ma, <laughs> so if you have been watching my previous videos, then you'll find me vlogging about how to get a Schengen visa. It's a step-by-step -step vlog, so you may find it here in my previous videos. And today, I'm going to share with you how I got my um, Schengen visa in just a span of three days. Okay, so just a little bit of background po. I am based here in Dubai United Arab Emirates and I applied here through VFS Global. Yes, so kung residents po kayo dito sa United Arab Emirates, you can apply from VFS Global. Usually, VFS talaga yung nagahandle ng mga Schengen applications but um, there are some Schengen countries na ang nagahandle is BLS like Spain. So, yun. Pero, um, based on my experience, smooth process, VFS Global talaga. Even sa Pinas, as far as I know, um, VFS din talaga yung nag-handle ng, um, ng application for Schengen. So, ayun na nga. So, how do we start our Schengen application? So, saan nga ba tayo magsisimula? Una, kailangan mo mag-decide kung saan Schengen State Embassy mo gustong mag-apply. Paano mo nga ba malalaman yun? So, when you are planning your itinerary, you actually have to apply in a Schengen State Embassy where mag stay ka ng mas matagal. So, let's say mag stay ka ng 10 days sa France and uh, mag stay ka ng like 5 days sa Italy. So, then you have to apply in a France Embassy sa, uh, sa home country mo. So, since I am based here in United Arab Emirates, so I can apply here in Dubai or in Abu Dhabi. So, I applied here in Abu Dhabi because my visa is actually in Abu Dhabi. Another tip for everyone, for all the Filipinos that are here in United Arab Emirates, if your visa is in Dubai, you have to apply in Dubai. And if your visa is in Abu Dhabi, then you have to apply here in Abu Dhabi. So, once nakapag-decide ka na kung sang Schengen Embassy mo gustong mag-apply, the next step is to know what are the required documents. So, basic required documents muna tayo. If you are employed here in United Arab Emirates, First thing that you have to do is to fill out the application form. Filling out the application form, it's actually downloadable from the VFS website. So you just have to go to VFS website and make sure na nandong ka sa Schengen State Embassy na aplain mo. So kasi nakakalito yun minsan eh. Minsan akala mo na sa VFS website ka pero it's actually different. Merong VFS website Italy, VFS website France. So you have to make sure na nandun ka sa Schengen State Embassy na ina-applyan mo talaga. And then once you download the application form, you actually have to be thorough. So magingat po tayo sa pag-fill out ng application form and make sure na tama yung application form na pinifill outan mo kasi maraming application form ang Schengen. So minsan nakakalito talaga siya. So make sure double check the header, double check if it's the updated application form para to avoid um, some hassles and delay from your application. Sa BFS website, makikita mo dun yung downloadable checklist. So in the downloadable checklist, makikita mo kung ano yung mga documents required based on the visa type na pinili mo. So kung let's say na you're just going to Europe for just tourism, then you have to choose um, the documents requirements for tourism stay. So, which is like short stay or long stay kung you have families there. So, when you choose your visa type, um, ipapakita sa'yo kung ano yung mga documents required. So, ano-ano nga ba yun? If you're employed here in the UAE, ang mga major required documents is first your Emirates ID copy, residence visa copy, your passport copy, and if you have any Schengen um, visas already before, 
um, USB sa copy also. If you have, um, makakatulong yun sa application mo. And if you have previous UK visa also. So, yun yung mga makakatulong sa application mo. Um, aside from that, you can also uh, provide a tenancy contract. If you have a tenancy contract here in United Arab Emirates, um, that will support your application as well. And then, moving on, after that, you have to prepare also your financial documents. So, if you're employed here in United Arab Emirates, you have to provide pay your payslips. So, payslip actually depende siya sa Schengen um, State Embassy. So, sa Italy, Italian Embassy, they require only three months um, three months payslip when I applied. I'm not sure if they change right now, but three months um, payslip only they require. And also for the bank statement, they only require three months, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I double check ko yun. Basta, usually, Schengen State Embassy requires three to six months. Kailangan mo i-provide yung bank statement mo. It should be original from the bank with stamp na um, nag-show yung salary mo. Kung saan nakikredit yung salary mo. Kasi the embassy has to check if um, nagtatali ba yung salary mo versus your payslip. So, yun. Yun yung mga basic requirements na kailangan mo i-provide. Another thing is yung Schengen visa photo. Yes, very important din yun kasi iba-iba yung photo requirements ng mga Schengen visa um, embassy. So, kailangan mo rin i-check yun sa um, tourism visa checklist kung ano nga ba yung requirement nila. Like, kasi sa Netherlands, you have to visit the um, DFS office talaga, then doon ka nila pipicturan. While other Schengen um, embassy, so, kailangan mo mag-provide talaga ng strict na photo. So, usually, it should be like within um, three to six months, I think, um, na kinuha ng kanong picture. Yun, um, cover letter. Cover letter is very important for me kasi um, I was actually um, approved for a long stay, multiple entry visa. So, cover letter is very, very helpful, especially dun sa mga frequent travelers na talaga. If frequent traveler ka na and you haven't had applied for a Schengen visa before, then this is your opportunity to inform the consulate na nagta-travel ka na talaga most of the time. So, ano nga ba ang mga dapat mong ilagay sa cover letter mo? So, basically, this is a formal letter na ibibigay mo sa embassy for them to know your reasons why you're applying for the Schengen visa. So, you have to introduce yourself where you're living at, and what's your reason um, sa pag-apply mo ng Schengen visa. And also, um, that's your time to let them know that you're a frequent traveler and um, you really enjoy traveling and what, where are the specific countries na gusto mong bisitahin sa Europe. So basically, yun yung mga basic information and you can also inform their there na you have the complete documents that you have approved leaves from your company and uh, when are you coming back? So, yun yung mga kailangan mong i-detail. Another requirement is that from your company, you have to provide your certificate of employment. So, usually sa certificate of employment, depende rin sa Schengen Embassy, uh, meron silang format to do that. But if your company already knows the format, then usually they have the generated certificate of employment na, na no objection certificate. Um, much better to um, put your position in the company how long have you been working there, your salary, monthly gross, and um, your approved leave dates. So, yun yung mga importanteng uh, information na dapat nasa NOC Certificate of Employment mo. Yun ang mga basic requirements and documents na kailangan mong i-prepare dito sa United Arab Emirates. Um, ako kasi, this is actually my, um, like, maybe fourth time. Fourth time na ako nag-apply ng Schengen Visa. So, kaya ay have this uh, multiple entry and long stay duration approval na. So, luckily, um, thanks God, praise God, na nag tayo na to para we can go in and out of Europe whenever we want to. So, I'm really, really grateful for that. So, if you guys are planning to um, apply also for a long stay or multiple entry, actually, depende kasi yan sa embassy eh, they will um, uh, see you talaga and they will check your travel history and also your capability to travel also. But if you're a frequent traveler and you prove to them that you really have basis of, you know, um, going in and out of Europe, then it's the dis discretion of the embassy. They might give you long stay, multiple entry, or they might give you, usually for first timers, they, they will give you 30 days. 30 days of entry and... Um, in your second time, usually they're giving 60 days, and then third, 
fourth, and so on. That's the time that they're giving you long stay duration. Meron namang iba na agad-agad, uh, first apply pa lang, one year na agad. Ako, nung nag-apply ako, first apply ko, they gave me six months. Second application is one year. Yun na. So, third application, fourth application, um, years na siya. So, yun. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God for that. Another important information is that um, plan your travel ahead of time. So, when you are preparing your application, kailangan mo um, mag-book na ng ticket. So, meron mga embassy na nire-require na kailangan confirm yung, yung ticket mo and your um, hotel bookings. So, meron namang mga Schengen Embassy na um, itinerary lang yung hinihingi nila. Flight itinerary or hotel booking itinerary. So, you have to be thorough for that also. Kasi, meron na akong mga kilala na nandun na sila sa VFS, may appointment na sila. Tapos, pagdating doon, kulang yung documents nila. Then, they have to hassle and book it at the same time. So, very hassle talaga siya. So, kaya, advice ko sa inyo is be thorough when applying, uh, when reading the application checklist. How long does it take for you to get your Schengen visa? Usually, guys, the Schengen visa application takes up to 15 days. 15 working days pa nga, sinasabi nila, depending on the um, demand. So, based on my experience, I got my visa with um, Italy, Italian Embassy, for only 3 days. 3 days lang siya, guys. So, I'm not sure if um, <laughs> because of my um, history and my information, but I have some friends also who got their Schengen visa like in 4 days five days or six days lang in an Italian embassy also. So, that's another tip for you guys. If you're planning to apply for a Schengen visa and gusto nyo ng madalian and mabilis nyo makuha, so, Italian embassy is the key. <laughs> Italian embassy is the key. Apply lang kayo Dubai or Abu Dhabi. Ayon. Um, who knows? Uh, you might get an approval. Isip ka nga ba ang dapat na amount na nasa bank mo pag mag apply ka ng Schengen visa? Um, wala actually specific guys eh. Um, Usually, based on my experience, hanapin talaga nila yung track ng salary nyo na kailangan continuous yung pagpasok ng salary nyo dun sa account nyo and iti-check din nila yung, yung flow ng money sa bank account mo. So, uh, may kakilala ako na um, meron siyang, let's say, for example, 15,000 dirham sa account niya, 10 to 15,000 dirham sa account niya. Ibibase actually nila yun sa um, days na magi stay ka sa Italy or which countries ka magi stay so syempre like um, it's in euro so they will convert it in they will analyze kung magkano yung 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 normal average na gastos when you go there and if your tickets are already booked your hotel booking also so i i itatali nila yung lahat and uh, i know someone na um, if may required documents pa sila na kulang dun sa application mo, for example, bank accounts, mga ganon, tatawagan kanila, tatawag yung Italian Embassy to ask if you have any other account na mapoprovide sa kanila to prove your financial stability to travel. So, yun. Um, which is a good thing actually kasi at least like you can still speak to them. Maybe they're putting your application into consideration, di ba? Which is a good thing. And paano mo nga ba makukuha ang passport mo? So guys, the moment that you apply sa VFS, when you go there for your appointment, ibibigay mo sa kanila yung passport mo. So basically, in this span of time na pinaprocess yung visa application mo, wala kang passport, wala sa'yo. Kasi isasubmit nila sa embassy for Schengen visa stamping. So now, paano mo nga ba malalaman kung approved ang visa mo? Yun na nga ang best na tanong lagi. Basically guys, um, hindi mo malalaman kung um, denied yung visa application mo or approved. Kasi malalaman mo lang siya the moment na you got your passport back. So, pagkakuha mo ng passport mo, it's either you paid for a courier service for it to be delivered to you directly to your home or ikokolek mo siya mismo sa BFS. So, yun yung two types of um, getting your passports. So, malalaman mo kung approved ka or denied pag open mo ng passport mo, which is a surprise, basically. If you have any question, makakatulong ako sa application nyo, feel free to comment down here. I'm hoping for you guys to travel around Europe then, kasi it's very, very beautiful. And planning your itinerary I might help also. So, so, feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys. I hope medyo clear yung um, medyo clear yung vlog ko and explanation ko in Tagalog kasi ang daming nag uh, ang daming nag 
um, request sa akin na mag-vlog nitong Schengen application ng Tagalog version. So, I hope na um, naintindihan nyo naman po ng maayos. And, ayun uh, nga, uh, comment lang po kayo pag may question kayo. Feel free to um, PM me also on Instagram. I might be able to help you guys. And, I pray for you all to have an approval for your Schengen visa and whatever visa it is that you're applying for. Uh, in Jesus' name, you will get an approval, guys. And, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any feedback or review, don't hesitate to comment down below. And, once again, it has been C. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.